Hello everyone, I'm Christy Arnett, you're watching Poker News, and I'm here to tell you how to play 7 Card Stud. 7 Card Stud is a classic poker game which can take a lifetime to master. In 7 Card Stud, players are individually dealt 7 cards throughout the course of the hand, but only the best 5 card poker hand possible for each player is used to determine the winner. Hand rankings are the same as in Hold'em. 7 Card Stud is usually played with a limit betting structure in which the bets are in fixed increments. For example, in a $2 $4 limit game, the bets are in increments of $2 on the first two betting rounds and increments of $4 in the subsequent three betting rounds. Before a hand is dealt, all players ante a nominal amount. This is the cost of being dealt into the hand. Each player is initially dealt three cards, two hidden hole cards and one face up. This is called Third Street. The player with the lowest exposed card is the bring-in and is forced to start the action. The suits are ranked in alphabetical order, clubs is the lowest, diamonds, hearts and spades is the highest. The lowest suit breaks a tie, so if the deuce of hearts and the deuce of clubs are visible at the beginning of the hand, then the deuce of clubs would have the bring-in. They must make either another bet the exact size of the bring-in, or if they choose a full bet of the lower betting increment. So if we were playing $2, $4, it'd be $2. Action continues clockwise around the table until betting is complete for the round. The next betting round is called 4th Street. Each player still in the hand now receives another exposed card. The first player to act is the individual whose exposed cards have the highest poker value. This player may either check or bet the lower structure betting amount. There is a round of betting. Each player now receives another exposed card called 5th Street. Again, the first player to act is the individual whose exposed cards have the highest poker value. There's a round of betting. Starting on 5th Street and for the rest of the hand, all bets are in big bet increments, so $4 in a $2, $4 game. Each player now receives another exposed card, called 6th Street. Again, the first player to act is the individual whose exposed cards have the highest poker value. Then there is another round of betting. Each player now receives a seventh and final card, which is also known as the river. It's dealt face down and known only to the player to whom the card is dealt. The first player to act is the individual whose exposed cards have the highest poker value. There is a final betting round, and if more than one player remains, we reach the showdown. The last better or raiser shows his or her cards first. If there was no bet on the final round, the player in the earliest seat shows his or her cards first. Further hands involved in the showdown are exposed clockwise around the table. The players with the best five card poker hand wins the pot. In the event of identical poker hands, the pot will be equally divided between the players with the best hands. Because stud games are played with eight players, but there are only 52 cards in the deck, it's possible to run out of cards before seventh street can be dealt. In this very rare instance, a single community card will be dealt face up on the table, which will be shared by all remaining players.